What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I am sorry. Uh, I left you guys in the cliffhanger last video about four months ago. And that was when me riding the quad. Y'all seen it that last video. Uh, I, a few things happened. Um, for one, I broke my snorkel. Uh, all of it broke. Like, everything up here just broke off. Disconnect that, disconnect it, disconnect that. That line just disconnected. Everything just disconnected up there. Uh, another thing, I have no brakes. Uh, you know, all that simple fix. And another thing, my radiator is leaking. I do not know where or anywhere on it that is leaking. I can't find the leak, but I know it's a leak because it just stained the whole garage floor. I don't know. But yeah, he just stayed in the whole garage floor. Radio leaking, snorkels broke, need brake pads. Uh, and yeah, I haven't been riding the quad as much. And another thing, power steering. The power steering unit went out. And if you guys don't know, riding this thing, is, you know, everybody know can downs are heavy. Especially when you put big tires on. I got a big set of 32 and a half Outlaw 2s. Y'all know I got those. I got these small ones on it just to push it around because I don't want to start it because there's no cooling in it. I don't feel like you're running hot and all that. And it's been cold outside, better. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All that extra stuff. I feel like doing it. Because I'm going to end up getting all new everything when I fix it. But yeah, hey, you got to know, no power steering. And trying to turn 32 and a half inch outlaws in thick mud without power steering on this big thousand pound four wheeler is a pain. You talking about back pain, Jesus. I can understand you hunting the boys and say, oh, I've been around with power steering forever. It folds away like four, four, five hundred pounds. It's folds away a thousand pounds. There's a big difference. Ask anybody. Hondas weigh like half the weight of these quads. Ask me how I know. I had a Honda, so I know. But uh, yeah, snorkels broke, power steering, radio is leaking. Thankfully, the motor's fine. Uh, no problems with the motor whatsoever. Uh, I haven't started it so because no radio fluid like I said. But I had a I had a theory. Uh I thought about changing it up a little bit. I wanna get you guys opinion. Like I said, I'm sorry for leaving you guys four months, four months. It'll be four months since I made my last video. And when I was at Amp, they recently closed Amp down. I don't know if they opened it back or not, but they recently closed it down. But yeah, the last video I made was I was at Amp Ryan. Alabama Mud Park AMP. Yeah, so a lot of you folks don't know what AMP mean. And I blew the boot off the top of the throttle by. We luckily got it back on. But a lot of other stuff happened with, with the snorkel broke, radiator leaking, power steering went out, like all the stuff I said. But another thing, I thought about changing the quad up a little bit. I kind of want to go with the newer style headlights, you know, like on the newer outline, the square ones, do those, and change the front end. To the XMR look, but it's not gonna look like any of the other XMRs. It's gonna be different color, different plastic, everything. I'm doing the whole different plastic combo. I'm um, going and see can I find some. I want to go with black plastic, y'all. You know, black plastics, so I can pick any color I want for the bars, the on the, the arms, the shocks on the uh, the springs on the shocks, uh, the radiator cover when I get all that stuff. Uh, and the bead locks on the outlaws, of course. I want to get all that changed to another color instead of the blue because it's kind of getting old. Uh, I've had the blue since I had the quad, and I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So, let me know in the comment section some color combos you guys want to see. Help me out a little bit. I thought about going with purple with like uh flakes in it, like galaxy, some something like that. Purple with rainbow flakes, something like that, and black plastics. Uh, I'm going to find some black plastics. I believe Parkzilla probably has some. Let me know down in the comment section you know I can find some at. Uh, and let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about that front end swap because uh, my halos have seen better days. Uh, let me see if I turn them on real quick. It might turn off. Let me see. Yeah, the old side still worked good, but yeah, that side messed up, and mud is all in both of the headlight housings, or the uh, low beam headlight housing, because the bulb broke on the back. So, 
yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. I kind of want to do it because a newer look, newer feel like I got a newer can and And, yeah. Another thing, motor-wise, y'all know I always say I want to put NOS. I want to run NOS. I want to run NOS. I thought about running NOS on stock motor, but then I realized it might not last as long. I know I'm not going to be matching NOS through every hole I go through, but still, you running NOS on a stock motor, stock component, you're bound to give out. So let me know down in the comment section what's a good big board setup to run with NOS. I'm not going to be in every hole, wide open, holding NOS every time. I just want to have it for cool looks and have a big notch, nicer ball to sit on the back. But also, if I have to need or want to use the notch, I can still use it. So put down in the comment section what you guys feel about that, what big board kit you recommend, and what nitrous system you recommend, what shot of nitrous you recommend for these quads. I know a lot of folks run nitrous on them, so I want to say why would you want to run nitrous? Nitrous is not good for it. A lot, a lot of folks run nitrous in the racing world. Of can and those big bikes, big built motors, and all that. A lot of folks run nitrous, so I know there's a safer way to run it uh, with a built motor. Uh, all I would do probably a 966 big bore or 1085 or one uh, 1105, something like that. Just let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. But yeah, I'm just making this video so I won't leave you guys hanging. Like I said, haven't posted in four months. I don't want you guys to think I forgot about you. I haven't. But, yeah, once I get everything else situated, like I'm building my truck right now, and I'm building a car. I recently got a new car, and I'm building that. Well, my truck is already built, but I'm changing some stuff on it. Once I get all that situated, all that extra stuff, I will come to this. It'll be about two, three months before I get back to it and fix everything, like full motor build, full plastic change, full front end change, all that. It'll be about two, three months before I can get to it. Dealing with my other stuff I have. Uh, and yeah, when I get to it, it should be around springtime, right before springtime, in the winter. You know, most folks don't ride in the winter. I ride in winter. I was riding in winter last year. But I can get it built during the winter time. So when springtime comes around, a lot of rain, a lot of mud, all, mostly all of the mud ride parks and people have big events around springtime and yeah i'll be ready for all that so let me know like i said let me know down in the comment section about the color combos and let me know down in the comment section about the front end swap and also big board kits plus nitrous what setups are you guys running thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one